What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here. How would you like to never have to pay for one of these again? Now whether you're in a jam at a gig or something like that and you don't have a pick, or if you just plain don't want to spend the money on them, I'm going to teach you a very quick and free way to make your own guitar picks. All you're going to need to do this is one old gift card, a regular pair of scissors, and an optional Sharpie. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our gift card, we're going to get our Sharpie. And again, this part is optional, but I tell that it like makes it a little bit easier to do. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get one of these corners right here, one of these rounded corners. We're going to draw a semicircle about an inch out, and we're going to link it to the other side. You can see mine's kind of sloppy. It really doesn't matter too much. It's just kind of a guidelines. Next, we're going to get our scissors. We're going to cut along this line. Now, mine came in a little funky just because I was using the camera to watch myself cut it. So I'm just going to like neaten up these edges with the scissors a little bit, kind of soften them up and make the shape a little bit more like a normal guitar pick. And there you have it guys, very simple, basic little guitar pick that like I said, it can either get you out of jam or if you just don't feel like spending the money on guitar picks, this will work. Now I know it's not the prettiest thing ever and it may seem like kind of an obvious hack, but not a lot of people know how to do this or know that you can do this. A lot of people think you have to use guitar picks for strings. No, they're basically just pieces of plastic. And yeah, guitar picks will probably work a little bit better, but like I said, this will get you by in a pinch or if you're trying to save some money, it's a good way to do it. The other cool thing is that now you have three other corners of this same card that you can cut another guitar pick out of. Just to show you again, we can do it without the guidelines. There's one more right there. And I could easily get two to three or four more out of just this one card. So think about how many you could do if you had five or six cards. You would never run out of picks. Now if you notice, even if we cut all the corners out, we're still gonna have this little part in the middle that's gonna be kind of hard to get to with the scissors potentially. Um, or there might not be enough room for to get a whole pick out of that. So what I like to do whenever I have a little bit of these cards left over but can't use the scissors to make another pick, so I like to get this thing. This thing I got as a gift a couple of years ago. It's called the Pick Puncher. And it is literally a hole punch for guitar picks. So all you do, very simple, is just stick your card in there, squeeze it, and out comes your guitar pick. Mine's a little funky shaped because I didn't line it up just right, but out comes your beautiful guitar pick and it's a little bit more shaped like a normal pick if that's your thing. Now this thing I feel like is super useful and it is small enough that you can fit it in your guitar case if you have a solid guitar case, a hard case. And I think these things only run about 10 or 15 bucks. So I'm going to put a link to this in the description below, the same one that I use, so you guys can check it out and see if it's for you. And guys, that is how you make your very own free guitar picks. Now, if you have any questions about this process, let me know in the comments below. I'm always quick getting back to them. And if this video helped you out, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to share this video with all of your guitarist friends. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all really soon.